In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply a theme to a SharePoint site using the Fluent UI theme designer generated code. So uh, let me show you uh, a SharePoint site which is currently available for me. So this is one of the SharePoint site is called as site slash dev SharePoint. Now this has got some sort of a SharePoint look. So if I click on various uh, hyperlinks over here, then it will give me various um, uh, design theme which has been applied to this particular SharePoint site. So it has a button in yellow background and brownish color uh, and uh, so on and so forth. So if you want to change the, uh, the look of this SharePoint site, you can click on change the look and then change the theme, header navigation. So if I click on theme, then you can select out of maybe one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Um, maybe 13 themes which are already provided out of the box from Microsoft. So if I want to make it purple, I'll just click on purple and then the theme changes and click on orange or blue. It will show you the live preview. And then if you're good with it, then you can basically uh, change the uh, theme accordingly. So let me pick up green over here. Now, there are 13 themes out of the box, but then what if you want to have your own theme defined? How can you do that? So from a UI perspective, there are no uh, a click uh, whereby you can just click on the link and then change the theme. So for that, you need to make use of PowerShell. So that's a SharePoint online PowerShell to create a theme and then uh, execute those theme and then apply those theme to the SharePoint site. Now, in order to do that, uh, what you need to do is first uh, understand the uh, the SharePoint PowerShell concept. So it's, it's pretty simple. So what you need to do is like you need to go to the SharePoint admin. Now SharePoint admin, I have already created a favorite, but then if you do not know how to navigate to SharePoint admin, you can go into the Microsoft 365 admin center. Now how to navigate to the admin center is you click on this uh, waffle menu and then if you have a sufficient privilege then you can click on admin and then that will take you to the microsoft 365 admin center from here click on show all and then you can navigate to sharepoint which will take you to the sharepoint site now this part of the url is important for the uh, powershell command to run so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy the uh, url and then i'll put it in say notepad uh, so let me open a notepad. So I have this notepad created. Yeah, so fresh notepad. I'll paste this admin center URL. Then uh, there are uh, uh, the theme which we may need to generate. So for that, you can navigate to aka.ms slash theme designer. Now here you will actually generate the theme. Now this will open uh, an Azure website uh, whereby you can generate your own custom theme. So let's build up some theme. So let make let let us make some pink colored theme, okay, which has some text color which is in maybe black, off black, and the background color just to make it more distinctive. Let's make it very ugly. Uh, yeah, let me create this. So let's assume this is our theme, which we want to apply this to our site. Now for that, what you need to do is you need to uh, take the code. Now, if you're happy with all the uh, parameters uh, provided by the Fluent UI theme designer, you just need to click on export theme. And then from there, go to PowerShell and then copy this PowerShell code. So I have copied this PowerShell code and then you have this notepad. Uh, here, you just paste your code. So this is the, uh, theme which you have generated out of that fluent ui theme designer site this is your admin center uh, site now let's uh, write a command now first thing when you uh, if you are pretty much new to powershell quite possible the powershell uh, module will not be installed so for that we have install dash module dash name and then you need to actually specify microsoft dot online dot sharepoint dot powershell so this will install the module within your uh, powershell uh, window once you are done with that you need to actually connect to the sharepoint service so for that you need to connect dash s use spo service and then specify the url now what is the url the url is which we have copied over here let me cut this 
and then put it over here so you connect to the sharepoint uh, servers then it will ask for credentials and then once the credential is added into the system uh, then you will be able to connect to the sharepoint site admin now remember you need to be an admin for in order to make use of this functionality so i'm pretty much assuming that you are an admin now here you use a variable now there is a variable you can use any variable name uh, i'm using say theme colors okay this is the variable name and then for that variable name you will assign some value and what is that value the value is the one which i see over here this is the value okay now this value which we have copied from the theme designer file now once we are satisfied with this the next command is to add that theme into the sharepoint okay now remember what we are doing over here is in sharepoint let me go back here again in sharepoint we are we'll be adding a theme the out of the box theme provided by microsoft are pretty limited and we want our own theme and that's the whole purpose of this exercise so coming back here we will add a theme so the code is simple add dash spo theme so that's sharepoint online theme and then you uh, give an identity you give a name for this uh, particular theme now the theme name is i can say girish march 2024 theme okay so this is my theme i can put space as well here and this is girish march 2024 theme you can name anything okay and then you need to give a palette the palette now the palette is coming from this variable so we have already prepared this variable over here so we can make use of this particular variable and i think we are good with this so there are a few commands to run one command second command and then the third command now the first command is optional if you already have a uh, sharepoint powershell installed so let's go into a powershell you, you can run in using any powershell so I'm just typing PowerShell. I can run PowerShell 7, Windows PowerShell, Windows PowerShell, IEC, IEC, uh, uh, x64. So just do a right click and then run as administrator. I've already opened this over here. So this is the PowerShell and go to your root prompt. So C, C drive in my case. Now let's uh, run this command one by one. So here, first one, install dash module. We'll first install the module. Now in my case, it is, uh, let's see whether it already exists or not. Um, so it says uh, you're installing the module from untrusted repository i'll say okay let, let it install and it says oh version 16.0232432212 oh, of module is already installed so in my case it is already installed in your case if it is not there it will start installing it so it is already installed so all good now let me connect this to the sharepoint online service So then it will prompt me for uh, signing in uh, and then I can sign in to this account. So I'll sign in to my account. So once you provide all the multi-factor authentication details, then it will say it, it won't say anything. It will just give you a nice prompt uh, and then it will uh, assume that is all connected. Uh, in case of error, it will actually throw you an error. So we have already now connected to the SharePoint URL. Then what we can do is we can use these themes. Okay. So just paste this and it says add SPO theme identity creation cannot bind argument to parameter palette. So uh, the problem what we have uh, uh, done over here is that uh, it, it is telling that you can't find this theme colors parameter. So let's see what's, what's, what's wrong with this command. So here the variable name is correct, okay, theme colors. Uh, the only thing which uh, uh, we were missing over here is maybe is inverted equal to false is inverted is you can use the variable false okay oh, sorry 
here and then we can run this command so let's copy this and go into the powershell and then again come back here and then we can paste is inverted false so again it says cannot bind argument to parameter palette because it is null now dollar theme colors is the variable name dollar theme colors is a variable name so i think it is not able to pick that up because uh, maybe uh, what we have done is like we have added this as a break line so let me delete this okay so now it is correct looks simple to me so let me copy this again this variable now quite possible it may happen that it might take the line break so let me copy this variable name again and then i will again go back and uh, i will use this command so as you saw that there was a bit of uh, like there wasn't uh, a problem with the command but there was a problem with the line break so when you use notepad we just copy pasted it over here uh, if we uh, put any line break over here then it may not recognize it as a proper command okay it might think that it is just empty so make sure that uh, it is actually coming from uh, this particular line and then rest all uh, if it is a line break that's fine so this is how you basically execute the command now uh, if you do not get any message over here, then it's good. Um, uh, I think the theme might have been added in the backend. So let's verify that. So again, come back to your SharePoint site. So this is the SharePoint site. Go to the home site and change the look. Click on clock icon, change the look. And click on theme and then from here you will see this theme which we have recently generated so this is Girish March 2024 click on this theme and then this theme will get applied I know this theme is very ugly but then uh, take your own time to build your own theme depending on your branding it's just an example to show you how to build a theme uh, in Fluent UI theme designer application and then from there copy that theme uh, make your own nice looking theme and then you can build up on top of that so you can create as many themes as you can uh, so in my case, I have created this theme called as Girish March 2024 theme. You can add one more theme. You can add five more themes in this particular um, system. Make sure that you get this code generated correctly and align it properly so that um, the error which we faced uh, in while executing this uh, won't appear again. Uh, so this is how you basically generate a theme using a uh, Fluent UI theme designer tool in SharePoint. Uh, application SharePoint site uh, using PowerShell. Thanks for watching.